Hello everyone. Welcome to the Science Info Channel. Guys today we will discuss ritual crystals used some 150,000 years ago or recently discovered in South Africa's the Kalahari Desert. Before we get started make sure to like and share this video. Smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Stone tools, burnt eggshells and other artifacts discovered in the Kalahari have experts questioning the long-held belief that civilization emerged from coastal regions. The items date back more than 100,000 years, when the South African desert received enough rain to sustain human inhabitants. Researchers also found nearly two dozen small pieces of calcite, which are believed to be the oldest known crystals used by humans suggesting the spiritual ritual was a long part of humanity. They were able to date their findings using luminescence dating which measures sunlight that's accumulated in minerals over thousands of years. Since the objects are contemporary with the oldest artifacts from coastal sites in southern Africa, experts say early humans in the Kalahari were as innovative as their neighbors by the sea. An international team of researchers located the items in a rock shelter on G.A. Mohana Hill, situated above an expansive savanna in the southern Kalahari Basin. Their excavation uncovered hundreds of stone tools, as well as animal bones with signs of butchery, and 42 burned ostrich eggshell fragments thought to have been used as water vessels. They also uncovered 22 white calcite crystals, all palm-sized or smaller, believed to have a ritual purpose. In Southern African, archaeological evidence for early Homo sapiens has mostly been discovered at coastal sites. That's led researchers to assume that's where we as a species originated, said Jane Wilkins, a paleoarchaeologist at the Australian Research Centre for Human Evolution at Griffith University in Queensland, Australia. G.A. Mohana Hill is more than 370 miles from the shoreline, but their analysis, published March 31 in the journal Nature, dates the artifacts to roughly 105,000 years ago. That makes them contemporary with some of the oldest items found on the South African coast. Our findings from this rock shelter show that overly simplified models for the origins of our species are no longer acceptable. Evidence suggests many regions across the African continent were involved, the Kalahari being just one. Because there are so few archaeological sites dating that far back, it's not clear if developments in human activity occurred in one region and were brought to another or emerged independently in different places. The finds are notable, she explains, because there have been very few well-preserved, datable archaeological sites in the interior of southern Africa that can tell us about Homo sapiens' origins. At the time the eggshells would have been used, the southern Kalahari received enough rainfall to provide year-round water sources for human inhabitants, Science News reports. Wilkins' team ascertained the chronology of the items at G.A. Mohana Hill North Rock Shelter using a technique called luminescence dating which measures natural light signals that accumulate in minute grains of quartz and feldspar. You can think about each grain as a miniaturized clock, from which we can read out this natural light, or luminescent signal, giving us the age of the archaeological sediment layers," said co-author Michael Meyer, a geologist at the University of Innsbruck in Austria. The process dated the deposit to about 105,000 years ago. This suggests that early humans in the Kalahari were no less innovative than those on the coast, Wilkins said. Artifacts found in coastal excavations have been dated between 125,000 and 70,000 years ago, including a 100,000-year-old art studio on South Africa's southern Cape Coast that houses charcoal, grindstones, and shells filled with ochre pigment. While the crystals are unmodified, the team's analysis indicates they didn't end up in the sediment naturally, but were deliberately collected objects, likely linked to spiritual beliefs and ritual. They located the likely source of the calcite, about 1.5 miles away from the G.A. Mohana North Rock Shelter. Prior to their research, the oldest crystals used by humans dated to around 80,000 years ago, and were located at another South African rock shelter. Local hunter-gatherers continue to use G.A. Mohana Hill for ritual activities today, revealing a continuity the researchers call remarkable. Many who visit G.A. Mohana Hill today for ritual practice see it as part of a network of places linked to the great water snake, Noga Yemet, a capricious and shape-shifting being, Wilkins wrote in the conversation. Places such as G.A. Mohana Hill 
and their associated stories remain some of the most enduring intangible cultural artifacts from the past, linking modern indigenous South Africans to earlier communities. The name Kalahari comes from Kalagadi, a word in the South African language Tswana that means a waterless place. Though it's not technically a true desert, it receives too much precipitation to qualify. There are broad swathes without permanent surface water. Thanks for watching.